Hello everyone, today in our series of Doclexus KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Gautam Das. He is a leading pain specialist in the country and the director of pain, pain clinic Dardia located in Calcutta. He has done MD in anesthesiology and later trained in interventional pain management. He is highly interested in teaching pain management and hence has been conducting different courses since 2007. He has been a pioneer in introducing many interventional procedures in India. He was the chief editor of the Indian Journal of Pain from 2012 to 2016. He is the examiner of FIPP, Fellow of Interventional Pain Practice Exam and has been invited as Pain uh, Fellowship Exam at USA and Netherlands. He has also been invited at several times at different international conferences as a guest faculty. Thank you so much Dr. Das for joining us today. Thank you. So, how well is this uh, concept of pain clinic spread in India? Uh, it's developing. Uh, surely, if we are comparing with uh, the scenario 10 years or 20 years back and uh, the present scenario, uh, definitely the awareness is spreading. But still, uh, we need to do a lot of things uh, to reach to the each of the patients in India. India has a huge population and still now the, the concept of this pain management is limited only on the major cities, not even in the other cities. So can you elaborate on uh, intrathecal pumps and which is the most uh, advanced pain management procedure? Uh, there are few advanced interventional pain management procedures of course and uh, one of them is uh, the intrathecal pump. Mm -hmm. So what is done here, so you are putting a small catheter there in the uh, close to the spinal cord uh, in the intrathecal space and uh, it is connected with a, um, with a, with a pump, a small pump with, which is having the reservoir and which is full of uh, the drug, the reservoir is filled with the drugs like morphine say for example, that is one of the commonest drug given. So you know that the morphine has uh, many uh, the side effects as well but when we are giving it directly into the intrathecal space, the doses requirements is much less, less, 300 times less. So you can understand that if the drug is given 300 times less doses, then the side effects of the morphine will be very minimal or not seen at all. So this is the, the biggest advantage that means it is 300 times important mm -hmm. so minimal doses is needed. Um, so this is one of the very important option for the pain management advanced option but again um, one of the important um, the major drawback of this procedure is the costly procedure the pump is costly. So uh, in India the it is not popular for the two reasons one is awareness and yeah, second one is the cost. cost. So can you please share your views on ozone therapy and in which patient ozone therapy is beneficial or recommended? Ozone is also another very important but uh, the fortunately ozone is not costly one. So ozone, uh, we are doing ozone in India since uh, around 2001 or 2. Um, I was one of the oldest uh, the physician in India, across India to start the, the ozone uh, therapy. Uh, it has a lot of applications. Uh, in pain management, it has a lot of applications. The most important area where the ozone is very effective is the uh, disc prolapse. So the disc prolapse means or in other ways it is called popularly known as slip disc. Slip disc. So the part of the disc is extruded out and it is compressing the nerve root which is going down towards the leg. So these patients uh, complain of the leg pain little bit of back pain as well as the leg pain and uh, this is because of the pinched nerve. So when you give the ozone injection in the disc around that disc material, it uh, dehydrates the disc and makes uh, shrink. I normally give the example of a, uh, the grape becoming a resin. The size mm -hmm. of the grape is much larger than the resin and uh, the ozone does the same thing. It, it shrinks the disc and thereby the nerve is getting decompressed and the patient will be having the pain relief. So ozone is one of the very important option, very minimally invasive, almost no side effects and uh, it is a daycare, it can be, patient can be discharged within few hours. So all these disadvantages of the um, ozone nucleosis is there. Mm -hmm. But apart from this, ozone has some other applications like ozone can be given in the joints, ozone can be done, that's called the prolozone therapy. 
and uh, it has some other applications like in the uh, remote arthritis and clonus modulitis where the pain management is not possible by the conventional ways so this can be an alternative options so ozone is a, a really a good one and the most important advantage for the ozone is it's not costly that suits perfectly mm. with the indian population so uh, what is the frequency of ozone therapy is it uh, on a regular way intervals or is it just it one depends time? it depends on the conditions you are treating like some conditions uh, which is uh, which cannot be cured uh, there the ozone to need to be given in frequent interval like if i am asking about the rheumatoid arthritis and clonus modulitis where the ozone need to be given at a frequent interval but the other situations like uh, the prolapsed disc mm -hmm. it is a one time procedure so once the patient is cured then there is no need of uh, repeating it again and are there any known contraindications for this procedure uh, the the fortunately ozone is very safe it can be given almost in except the very few rare uh, contraindications like uh, in pregnancy if the patient mm -hmm. is having some coagulopathy bleeding disorders mm -hmm. uh, if the patient is having the g6 pd deficiency there are the few rare conditions mm -hmm. where the ozone is not uh, recommended in all other conditions ozone can be given so uh, talking about cancer pain management it's a vast topic in itself so what adjunct uh, techniques or modalities along with opioids do you recommend for cancer pain management uh, definitely the morphine is the mainstay for the treatment of the um, the cancer pain mm -hmm. but in around uh, 20% situations morphine is not enough so in that situation you have to think beyond morphine so morphine in those situations also morphine can be given to the pump just now we are discussing mm -hmm. intrathecal pump is a very good option for the management of the cancer pain apart from that there are different nerve block or neurolysis technique where we are ablating the nerve which is carrying the cancer pain so in these terminally ill patients who are having a lot of pain so the nerve block technique or neurolysis technique is also a good option while the morphine is not giving adequate mm -hmm. pain relief so you also mentioned that pain management is not a, a very common specialty in india or it's not that popular in india as of now in right. compared to with the western right. world so what do you think should be the measures that we need to take to make it more so that more and more doctors yes, opt uh, for uh, it the, and the, uh, increase the, the benefits of it should be reaching to the to the you know the general population uh, for that few things are needed one of them is um, uh, having the pain management department in the all the government hospital not just medical college even in the district level and um, i'll be telling um, jnk government you know they are doing it in the district, district level, level. You no know, but that should be done by the all other state hospitals all other state government that uh, it is done so that the patient general populations are getting the benefits of the pain management that is one important option apart from that even the many doctors are not aware so if the doctors are aware gradually it will be reaching to the other patient so the the there is need of having organizing the seminars the different workshops amongst other doctors so that they are knowing the benefits of the pain management mm -hmm. specialty so so do you think an online platform of doctors like docplexus can help in this endeavor surely endeavour? surely because you know this kind of platform where the it has the, the, the many doctors are accessing it so if uh, this kind of topics are discussed there in that platform definitely the awareness will be building up thank you so much dr gautam das for sharing your valuable time and knowledge with us thank you so much thank you to stay updated on our latest scale videos and interviews please follow us on twitter like us on our facebook page and subscribe to our youtube channel happy dog flexing